New N-Charge batteries are coming. Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. A few weeks back, I talked about the Enphase Energy Ensemble system. That video was more about what was rumored to be released because there wasn't a whole lot available at the time of the posting. Well, shortly after publishing that video, Enphase sent us and several other companies an invitation to a webinar that would introduce us to the new N-Charge and Ensemble product. But before I get into it, I want to ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, hit that button down below and be sure to click the little bell icon so you can stay up to date on energy efficient home technology. Okay. So if you didn't watch the previous video that we posted, that's all right, because this video is going to cover the ensemble system in greater detail. There's still some information we don't know, like pricing, but at least you'll have an idea on what to expect for the system. This was a pretty long webinar, nearly 90 minutes, and they covered a lot of great things, but they also left out a lot of little things because the product is still being developed. Which leads me to my first issue with this new N-Charge or Ensemble system, whichever one you'd want to call it. Enphase says they'll be releasing it in quarter four of this year. Now, I don't think the product will be released, I think they're actually saying they'll be releasing the full details of the product in quarter four. I could be wrong on this, but given how they were unable to answer simple questions like the operating temperature range for the N-Charge batteries, leads me to this conclusion. But that's honestly my only big complaint from this webinar, besides not having a price, of course, for the unit and its components, but Enphase has really thought this product through and through, and it shows with the tightly integrated components, which I'm going to go over with you. So the battery will be called N-Charge and features a 3.36 kilowatt hour storage capacity. It'll be using lithium ferrophosphate, also known as lithium iron phosphate, which is my favorite chemical makeup for batteries. It's the safest, and most reliable on the market today. There won't be any moving parts in the unit. It'll come with a 10 year or 4,000 cycle warranty, whichever comes first. Now, the cycle warranty is a little disappointing given it equals exactly 10 years if the battery cycles one time every day. And I know for a fact LFP can handle 10 to 15,000 cycles before reaching 70% degradation, but then again, it depends on the battery manufacturer. I'm not sure who's manufacturing their batteries and they weren't open to disclosing that at the time of the webinar, but regardless, the warranty is still a very good warranty for a battery. Now the battery will have four, yes, four IQ8 microinverters built into it. They'll have a nominal power output of 1.28 kilowatts on a shared bus architecture. So the output of each 3.36 unit is roughly equal to four 300 watt solar modules, which isn't bad at all, especially when you factor in the size of most residential solar systems. The IQ microinverters will only be available for the battery when it ships, when it ships in quarter four of this year. And these new IQ8s are very impressive. I mean, they have done some revolutionary stuff with these. They have a 20 nanosecond digital control to be able to regulate the flow of energy as the home needs it. This allows for the system to prevent overcharging of the batteries, sending too much power to the home when the grid's down, or sending power to the solar panels and causing damage and they have a bi-directional flow for charging and discharging of the battery. This is some really revolutionary microinverter technology. The battery system is fully scalable. You can connect three of the 3.6 units together to make one 10 kilowatt hour unit. The warranty stays the same though, but your nominal power increases to 3.8 kilowatts. But this isn't the best part about the system. 
it can be scaled, at least from what I understood, to 100 kilowatt hours when you're using the Enphase NPower 200G or their version of an auto transfer switch that has a built-in sub-panel that holds 10, yes, 10 20 amp breakers and can be used to power an entire home with solar and batteries. But there's even more to this system. Enphase plans on releasing a list of approved generators that can be connected to the Empower 200G to provide someone with the ultimate backup system. So you can have solar plus storage plus a generator. This is really, really awesome. So how the system would work if you have an existing IQ6 or IQ7 microinverter system, you would only need the installation of the N-Charge battery and the M-Power 200G with either a sub-panel for emergency backup loads or have it tied into the existing service panel for whole home backup. Now, I wanna pause and remind you that you don't need to know the cost of these two components for me to tell you that a whole home backup option is going to cost more. So don't expect this system to be the cheapest on the market, but it will be an affordable option for retrofits and new systems when you compare it to a Tesla or a Zonin even. One last thing worth noting, Enphase plans on releasing the IQ8 microinverter lineup for the solar panels one to two quarters after the release of the N-Charge batteries. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any questions about the product I discussed in this video, be sure to leave a comment below. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, hit the button right down there. Thanks again. Until next time.